Is your air conditioner struggling to cool down your home no matter how many times you adjust the temperature? Well, you may be dealing with a refrigerant leak. Stay tuned as we dive into the signs that your AC is leaking refrigerant. Your air conditioner can leak refrigerant for several reasons, and at Monkey Wrench, our experienced technicians have seen them all. From damaged parts to manufacturer defects, we've successfully repaired hundreds of central AC systems across Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. And in this video, we'll explain what symptoms to look out for, why an AC leaks refrigerant, and who should repair this issue. And hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we're constantly putting out new videos every week. Now, let's jump in starting with how to tell if your AC is leaking refrigerant. There are multiple signs that indicate there's a refrigerant leak in your air conditioner, but it can get tricky for you to notice without knowing the common symptoms. Without refrigerant, your central cooling system cannot properly absorb and release heat and create cool air. One of the first signs that you have a refrigerant leak is that your air conditioner struggles to achieve the desired temperature when attempting to cool your home. When air conditioners are turned on, they run until they reach the desired temperature. After that, the AC will remain idle until the indoor temperature rises again and the cooling cycle starts all over again. If your AC is dealing with the refrigerant leak, however, the system will keep running in an attempt to reach and maintain the desired temperature. As the system keeps running, it will consume more energy, resulting in a higher utility bills. Sometimes the AC will run nonstop and still fail to cool down your home. Another indicator that you may have a refrigerant leak is the lack of cool air from your air conditioner. If there is a refrigerant leak, your central air conditioning system may not be able to blow cool air. The symptom is more noticeable than others because you will immediately notice Notice something is off with your central AC unit if it's on and not blowing cool air. Since there isn't enough refrigerant cycling in the AC to absorb heat, it's unable to produce enough chill air to cool down your home significantly. This can be the most unpleasant during the summer when air conditioners are essentially trying to keep your homes cool. It's worth noting that an air conditioner refrigerant leak can also lead to higher utility bills. If your central AC is leaking refrigerant, then it will experience a drop in cooling efficiency and require more energy to cool down your home, resulting in increased utility bills. Pay close attention to your energy bills during the months when you're constantly running your AC and look for any abnormal billing. Even if it's not related to a refrigerant leak, it can indicate other underlying issues with your air conditioner. Now, refrigerant leaks aren't always visible, but they may produce a noise. In the next section, we'll review how hissing noises from your AC can indicate a refrigerant leak. Leaking AC refrigerant may make hissing sounds from your air conditioner's indoor or outdoor units. It's also odorless and hard to smell since it quickly disappears when and release into the air. During the cooling cycle, refrigerant deals with an increase or decrease in pressure. If there's a leak, the refrigerant can make a hissing sound when it's going through depressurization. A common misconception about refrigerant leaks is that they leave a visible puddle of refrigerant fluid near the air conditioner. Refrigerant goes through different states of matter and it is gaseous when it leaks, making it tricky for you to notice it. Ice forming on the coils is one of the last and sometimes the most common signs of an AC refrigerant leak. If you notice ice forming on some of the parts of your air conditioner, it could indicate a refrigerant leak. This leak will decrease the pressure within the lines transporting refrigerant and the evaporator coil, causing it to freeze and create ice. As the ice melts, it can leak water onto your air conditioner system and your home. The melted water can potentially cause further damage to your AC and or your home. Water damage to your home or air conditioner can become expensive to repair or replace. Whether it's ice appearing or a lack of cool air circulating, there are a few scenarios that cause a refrigerant leak in the first place. Here's a summary of some of the most common causes of air conditioner refrigerant leaks. Damaged parts. External factors can physically damage the lines that carry refrigerant. These impacts can cause cracks or small holes where the refrigerant can escape. A damaged evaporator coil can also leak refrigerant. Faulty connections. On rare occasions, the fittings between the refrigerant lines that connect to the coils can be defective. The faulty connections can lead to refrigerant leaks. Normal wear and tear. As AC systems age, parts can become corroded or worn over time. This can lead to tiny holes or cracks that can leak refrigerant. A technician's diagnosis is the only way to determine what's causing your air conditioner to leak refrigerant. If you suspect your central AC is leaking refrigerant, the best source of action is to call a professional technician. With their special tools, a technician can connect the meter to your AC to check refrigerant levels. If the refrigerant levels don't meet the manufacturer's standards, the technician can further investigate and confirm what caused the leak. 
After that, the technician can perform several repairs necessary to correct the problem. Now that you've learned what refrigerant leak symptoms to look for, you can stay vigilant whenever you notice a drop in your AC's cooling efficiency. Although you may not be able to fix the AC, you can talk to a technician about what caused the refrigerant leak in the first place so you can stay in the loop. If after considering these factors you think you may be dealing with a refrigerant leak and live in Los Angeles or the surrounding areas, you can schedule an appointment with our certified HVAC technicians using the link below in the description. And if you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe as we are constantly adding new videos every week.